Ever. All right, same game plan. Problem number four. Y equals MX plus B. So Savannah, just like Taylor said, pretty much all you're doing is trying to find the M and the B. A slope and a Y intercept. That's it. That's all you need. So here we go. Write two equations. The first equation is for the line that goes through this point. So let's label it. That's the X and Y they just gave us. And is parallel. Parallel is a key word. Parallel to another line that passes through the points 5, negative 6, and 1 and 2. So let's use this. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 divided by X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Let's find the slope of this line. So let's use a negative 6 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 1. Okay, that's going to give me the slope. So negative 6 minus 2 is a negative 8. And on the bottom, 5 minus 1 is 4. So what's a negative 8 divided by 4? So this line has a slope of negative 2. So if our line is parallel, what's our slope? Our slope is also a negative 2. So now if our slope is negative 2, we're halfway done. We just got to find B. How are we going to find B? Take this, Katie. Plug it in for X. Take this Y. Plug it in for Y. Take this M. Plug it in for M. So we're going to go 10 equals M. That's negative 2 times X is negative 2 plus B. And we don't know what B is, so leave it the variable. That's the unknown. So negative 2 times negative 2. 10 equals 4 plus B. So what number plus 4 is 10? B has to be 6. So now we're done. Plug it in. Y equals negative 2X plus 6. You don't have to, but you'll get full credit if you find M and B, but this is the best. This is one step further. This is what separates the big leaguers from the little leaguers. Now, that's only one equation. We're only halfway done. Equation number two. Let me erase this stuff. Equation number two passes through the same point, negative 2, 10, but this time it's perpendicular to this guy. So what was the M of this guy? Negative 2. So what is our slope? Our slope is going to be a positive one half because perpendicular, one of them's got to be negative, one of them's got to be positive. And then the other one is the reciprocal. So if this is 2 over 1, ours is going to be 1 over 2, the reciprocal. Always. So the, look at this. If you have a slope of negative 2 thirds, what is perpendicular to negative 2 thirds? The reciprocal, 3 over 2. And because theirs is negative, ours is positive. So one of them has to be negative, one of them has to be positive. Okay, now, to find B, let's use this X and this Y. So let's go the same thing. Y equals M times X plus B. So what's a half times a negative 2? So 10 equals a negative 1 plus B. Plus the 1, plus the 1, B is 11. Wow, I feel really accomplished. And plug them in, Y equals 1 half X plus 11. So two lines, one's a parallel, one's a perpendicular. Now this one is still based on Y equals MX plus B. So you're going to have to use chapter 1 to get this in y equals mx plus b. If you've got x minus y equals 4, you cannot do anything with that because it's in standard form. It's changed standard form into slope-intercept form. So this x has got to go. Minus the x. 
minus the x. Now you have a minus y equals 4 minus x. But you all the signs. Now i got to change all the signs. Because I can never have a negative y. So i got to have a positive y. So I'm going to change that to a negative 4. And I'm going to change that to a plus x. Now what is the m and the b? m is 1 over 1 b is negative 4 so b your first dot is going to go on the y-axis and negative 4 and you're going to use your slope you can, the order doesn't matter so the slope is 1 over 1 so that means we're going to go up 1 over 1, 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 down 1, left 1 Um. Oh shoot! Why did I do that? Ooh, where's the undo button? Oh, nice. Undo button. I didn't know that was even there. Here we go. Now, problem number two. Six x plus y equals three. Again, it's in standard form. So let's subtract 6x. Subtract 6x. So we're going to have y equals 3 minus 6x. Or y equals negative 6x plus 3. M and B. M is negative 6 over 1. B is 3. So my first dot goes up here on 3. And negative means go down. So you're going to go down 6 and write 1. Because the one's positive. Positive is right. So, line goes through. Not very straight, but this is what I need right here. Where do they cross? What's the intersection of those two lines? Your answer's got to be 1, negative 3. X is 1, Y is negative 3. Your answer is where they cross. That point that they have in common, 1, negative 3. Now look at this one right here. 6 is going to be the exact same system. Whoa. But you're going to have to solve it using substitution. So do this. I would not start with uh, the original one they gave us. Let's start with the slope intercept. Let's start with y equals... What was it? y equals x minus 4 and y equals negative 6x plus 3. Start with these guys. Be you can. There's lots of ways to do it. But you're going to sub this y for this y. Now, let's trade these guys places. Let's sub them out. So if your y is equal to your y, your top and your bottom are equal, I'm going to drop this into the bottom. So it's going to be x minus 4 equals a negative 6x plus 3. And now it's just algebra. Solve the equation. I'm going to move these x's over here. So I'm going to plus 6x plus 6x. So you're going to have 7x minus 4. On the right, you're just going to have 3. Add 4, add 4. To the left, to the right, you have 7x equals 7. So that must mean x equals? And if x equals 1, now take that and plug it in to your top or your bottom. y equals x minus 4. If x is 1, 1 minus 4 is? Y has got to be a negative 3. Is that the same answer you got on 5? Yes. And you're going to get the exact same answer on 7. Just doing three totally different methods. So here's number 7. Elimination. Elimination, I would use the original one they gave you. X minus Y equals 4. And 6X, you don't have to, but I would because... Because elimination is adding them vertically. And right now it's set up so that your y's are going to cancel out. Negative y plus y, that's a 0. 6x plus x, 
That's 7x. 4 plus 3? 7. So 7x equals 7. x equals 1. Plug it back in and you're going to get y equals negative 3.